Hey everyone, what the title for me to return with, huh? <laughs> well, if you know who I am, he's returning anyway. If you're new to this channel, then welcome. And I know I didn't have many subscribers with my old channel, but whoever knew me there, if you're here too and you see me again, yeah, welcome back to. I, I have a lot to explain on that, but we'll get to that later. For now it's Conan time, as that's what the video is about and what we're interested in here. Yeah, as I said, Akai did sound like quite a perv, mentioning his own sister's um, lower body, even though you get his reasons for saying that, having to excuse how he knew she's a girl. Don't agree with Subaru on Sarah cutting off on the violence though, I like Sarah being violent, she's cool. She seems to be getting closer on many secrets too. Conan's, Akai's and even eyes. Even though Sarah already had a major hint from her mother, she caught on to Conan slipping quite a few times actually, which is cool. Good luck to her, will be interesting if she uncovers their secrets. Although I have to say her approach has been a little too offensive and it's been really reckless. Sometimes it's pretty clear things are off with her and Conan, I and everyone could tell easily. When it comes to the current case though, honestly it hasn't been very strong. But then again, we hardly had many strong cases since the Bunny Girl one. I don't like how we've seen too much of the crime going down between the grey guy and the victim. I wish it was more of a mystery. Seems with this case, however, we're supposed to work it out based on which of the black luck, I'm not sure how to pronounce the tray, um, which of the trays is the authentic one. My money's on a big guy. Tojima, I think his name was, since the tray they found in his box is the one that matched the tray during the crime. I hope you like geometry because a long lecture from Psycho Sensei will be commencing in 3, 2, 1. I know Agasa thought it was nonsensical how none of the trays big and bloodstained matched up when flipped horizontally when it did when he flipped it, but that logic only works if he flipped the trays the same way Magure did. There's a faulty assumption that the position of the blood stain would be the equivalent position under the beak that would show when flipped. However, that's only true if the blood stain and beak were on the center of the rotation axis. You see, when the tray flips, it rotates and the position of its parts are mirrored. The only parts that stay the same is at the center of the rotation and if you look at the panel where Agasa flipped the tray, the blood stain was off the axis of rotation at about 45 degrees to the right of the upside down tray. Since the beak took the position of the blood stain that it had before the flip, the original position must have been 45 degrees the opposite direction of the blood stain from the axis. Altogether, this means while the tray is upright, the blood stain should be 90 degrees to the anti-clockwise direction of the beak and the only tray that matched this description is the one in the big guy's box. Class dismissed. I think Conan also caught onto this logic near the end of the latest chapter. He asked Agasa about the direction the Crane was facing when Agasa flipped the tray. They're really hinting at this, it seems. And yes, I do think the big guy is the killer. Since the evidence shows that the killer wanted to steal the authentic tray. If the killer simply decides to return the trays back to where they belong, there would be no need to smear the other trays with blood to confuse people. The, the killer knew the tray the appraiser was holding was the authentic one and knew Agasa was told it was the authentic one because he was listening in while the while Agasa was talking to him 
when he was hiding in the when the killer was hiding in the cabinet. So he predicted that the cops would suspect whoever killed the appraiser would steal the tray after that. Two pieces of evidence I'm still not sure about how they fit in this case though are the ear wing and Augustus plate with the peeling paint. Seems to be a waste if they're not related to the case, particularly the ear wing, even though I'm pretty sure I got the culprit figured out already. Maybe they relate to the motive, not sure about that, but yeah, pretty simple case with some simple geometry, pretty sure I figured it out, but let's see next week anyways. What I'm more interested in, however, is the Sarah and Akai, pro Sarah and Akai plot here. As said before, good luck to Sarah. Come to think of it, maybe the reason Sarah was going too offensive is because she's in a rush. So might that mean something's going on with Mary? We'll see. I'm looking forward to what Conan realized about her too. Nice to get more flashbacks on the Akai family too. Shuichi and Shikichi are really cute when they're young, still pretty cute, but more so then. Also, with all the mystery behind Akai Daddy Sutomu, I wonder what's going on with him. How is that going to turn out? It would be a really troll move by Goshu at this point if it turns out he's really dead all along. If there's no body, he's probably still alive. He'll probably turn out really badass. Let's see anyways. So those are my thoughts on this chapter. Now before I forget, sorry, I have to use a new channel now. I had a problem lately where Google made a mistake in locking my account and YouTube follows Google and does the same. Then Google fixes its mistake, but YouTube doesn't. Stupid I know, but that's just my luck I guess. What's worse is that when I tried to ask YouTube for help and tried to appeal, I never got a response, neither accepting or denying my appeal. I really hope this doesn't happen again. Also, I hope it's safe talking about that here. Uh, I hope I won't regret this. But I know more people who are more blatant on doing this stuff while being more famous and they're still okay. I hope I'm okay too. But now that we've got the serious talk out of the way, what do you think about the latest Conan chapter and the case? Are you enjoying it? How about your thoughts on my thoughts on it? Let me know in the comments and hitting like and subscribe would be nice too. Since you know it allows you to follow me for new content and stuff, as for me, as always, I enjoy new Conan cases, but there are many cases I enjoy more than the current one. But then again, there's still the resolution to go, isn't there? Let's see, and we'll hope it turns out great. Um, I'll let you know when the chapter comes out. See ya.